Watch this video to complete the workbook page, Brahms Fun Facts and Game, from the My First Piano Adventures Level C Writing Book. Let's get ready to begin. Open your writing book to page 8 and you will also want something to write with. Here is the page that we will be completing today. It is called Brahms Fun Facts and Game, and it's all about a man named Johannes Brahms who wrote music quite a long time ago. The pictures that are in the middle of the page are of him, and we are going to take care of those at the end when we do our game. First, we have four fun facts to look at. Let's start right up in the top left-hand corner with fun fact number one. As a little boy, Brahms learned music from his father, who played double bass. Do you have anyone in your family or a relative who plays a musical instrument? The answer for me is yes. I do have a lot of family members that have played various instruments. And now my kids play musical instruments, too. How about you? What will you write on these lines? Let's take a look at fun fact number two. The Brahms family lived in the poorest area of Hamburg, Germany. At the age of 13, Johannes performed in restaurants and clubs, often late into the night. The money that he earned helped his family. Whatever money was left over, Brahms spent on books. Do you like to read like Johannes? Well, for me, that answer is pretty easy. I do love to read. How about you? Will you write yes on this line also? Let's move on to fun fact number three. Brahms admired the composer Beethoven very much. In his home, a statue of Beethoven looked down on the spot where he composed. What do you look at when you play the piano or compose your own songs? Where is the piano in your house? I'm going to write the words living room. My piano is in my living room, which means that while I play, I have a great view of our entrance hall. I can see everybody that is coming and going and even who's coming down the stairs. What will you write on the line? Where is your piano located? Now for our last fun fact about Brahms, number four. Like Beethoven, Brahms loved nature and often walked in the woods. He often brought penny candy with him to hand out to children. Brahms had a style of walking quickly with his hands firmly behind his back. You may enjoy walking around the room like Brahms. Let's try it. Can you stand up for a moment? Leave the tablet or computer that you are watching this on where it is. Put your hands behind your back, clasp them together, and walk around. How does it affect your balance to have your hands behind your back? Okay, it is time to turn your attention to the center of the page where those three pictures are. We are ready for our game. The three pictures that you see are of Brahms at different times in his life, and we need to put them in order. We're going to find the one that looks like a teenager and label that number one, the one that looks like a young man and label it number two, and then we will label the third and final one number three. Let's start by figuring out which of these pictures is him as a teenager. What do you think? Do you think it's the bottom one? That will be number one. Next, we need to decide which of the remaining two pictures look like Brahms as a young man. What do you think? Is it the top picture or the middle picture? Sure looks like the top one to me. Let's put a two there. And last but not least, which of these pictures looks like Brahms as an old composer? Well, it's the picture that's left, of course, the one in the middle. We'll go ahead and draw a three on the line, and that is everything for this page. Great work, and I hope that you learned something new about Johannes Brahms.